Bonjour à tous! Hey everybody! So today, finally, because I have been trying to work this out for the past week and a half, <laughs> I can confirm that I will have a place to live next semester. <laughs> My friend Allie and I have been working on getting our housing stuff settled since last week. And we finally confirmed today, tonight, well, it's like 4.30 right now in the U.S., but for me, it is 10.30, and I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> but in any case, it's done. We will be living together in an apartment. We will have a full kitchen so that I can cook and make myself healthier meals, <laughs> and with a full-sized fridge. You have no idea how excited I am. When you get excited about like a full-sized fridge, you know you're growing up a little bit, but you know. I'm also just a nerd that loves to cook. I mean, I am held myself back while in France. I have. I've only baked once. I have helped with dinner because I'm nice and she lets me. And I've only bought one cookbook. I have talked about this, but I'm talking about it again because it's great! I love this cookbook. I love it, I love it, I love it. It divides it up into the regions and it makes me so very happy! I love just looking at all of the little things you can make. I mean... Look at this! Does this not look delicious? I want to eat it right now. It's clafouti aux cerises. Something cherries. I don't know what a clafouti is, but I'll Google it and it'll be fun. It's gonna be so great. I'm so excited! Ah, summer baking. Seriously, it's gonna be great. Oh, speaking of summer, I have a job! I can confirm that I have been hired to work for a catering company. I don't know if I'll be cooking. Probably. He knows me and he knows that I can cook and that I love to bake. So hopefully he will let me in the kitchen. But either way, I have a job for the summer, and I'm so excited. He has a storefront too, so hopefully I'll be in the kitchen of that storefront. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Everything is just kind of falling into place. Now I just need to register for fall classes. I have registered for a summer course. It is a seminar that I have to take, and this is why I did that fall semester I will be doing my French senior seminar. Basically the culmination of all of my French studies will be done there. And I will write about a 30 page paper that I will then have to present at Elon's research kind of extravaganza for undergrads. It's called SURF, Student Undergraduate Research Forum or something like that. And I will have to give a presentation. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But that next semester in the spring, I will also be doing my art history senior seminar, which is the same thing but art history. And I will again be presenting my research at SURF. So I will have two SURF presentations next year. Whew. So my course that I'm taking over the summer is the general required senior seminar. Yeah, I have to do it outside of my majors. I will be doing a... it's just listed in the Jed and education, Gen Education Center whatever category. We call it the core curriculum. It's Gen Ed. It's Elon's Gen Ed. And you have to take a seminar in which you write a 30 page research paper on the topic of that class. You really think I can handle two of those in one semester? I'm, I'm gonna give you a second. Yeah, no! <laughs> I can't do it. I am going to give myself way too much anxiety if I do that. I can't do it. I will literally cry and want to murder all of the things in this universe. <laughs> Yeah. So, we're not going to do that. We're going to take that class online over the summer so that I can free up the space to take my medieval art class 
which I'm so excited for. And then I will be probably taking an art history elective or an art class. I want to take drawing. I think that'd be so much fun because drawing is the only thing I can actually do with any real talent. <laughs> I've tried painting. It doesn't end well. Sculpting also just d does not end well. <laughs> so we're gonna go with drawing. It's the only thing I can kind of do. So I'm gonna take a drawing class and it's gonna be great and it'll be a wonderful outlet and it'll be a good experience because art history is not just about looking at dates at people who created the art and how that art then influenced other art people no number one art affects the entire world thank you very much number two you have to know the techniques in order to make the art because that's what makes the art important so in knowing more about how drawing works i can better understand methods used to create the art that i'm studying especially ones that are done in printing or in engraving because those are drawn out beforehand and then placed on the metal and then put in there. It's complicated. In any case, drawing is essential to any art form, so knowing more about that will only help me. So that is why I want to do that. It's going to be great. And then I'm hoping that there will be an upper level history class that I can take because that would also be great. Or I'll just take another French class. I should take a French, I, sh I should take another French class, but I'll be doing so much French research. I'm gonna take another French class. Okay, so we're gonna do art class, French seminar, French higher up thing, and medieval art. Four classes in the fall. Yay, that's settled. Okay, I love making plans, if you can't tell. I love planning everything out. I love it. In some ways, I'm very spontaneous. In other ways, I love having everything lined out perfectly. <laughs> it's very confusing because people are like, you're so type B, you just kind of go with it. And then they see me mapping out my life. <laughs> and they go, um... What if it doesn't happen that way? And then I show them my backup plans because I'm paranoid. I'm very paranoid. And this video is long enough as it is, and I have rambled on enough as it is because it's almost 1040. I'm tired. You're probably tired of listening to me talk. So without further ado, I hope you're having a nice day, night, whatever, wherever you are. And I will see you tomorrow as per usual. Au revoir. Bye, everybody.